All right, maybe you're ready for your 4th of July. And let me tell you, I've been scanning all of our sky cams at the beaches and they are busy. A lot of surfers out there as well as we look towards Cardiff. It is 69 degrees downtown, 72 in Oceanside, near 80 in Escondido, 74 degrees in Chula Vista. The deserts just shy of that 100 degree mark today technically will be the coolest day of the week, but it's only about one to three degrees cooler than yesterday. And it's beautiful out there. If you're headed out to the San Diego County Fair, keep in mind today and tomorrow, the last days of it, right around 70 degrees this afternoon and war takes the stage at 730, about 67 degrees then. So we've been talking about this heat that is just engulfed much of the country, especially the East Coast and the Midwest, also in the Southeast. It feels like 100 in Kansas City right now, 109 for that feels like uh, temperature in DC. All of this heat is going to be spreading westward. In fact, a lot of the country is going to be dealing with heat by the end of the week because this bubble of warm air is really going to be expanding, covering most of the, co the country. So pleasant for us because we're in between two warm air masses right now. Pleasant through the 4th of July, highs near normal, but by the end of the week, it's going to be very hot. So let's remind us of those tips. It's been a while since we've had to deal with this summer heat. Stay hydrated, enjoy air conditioning. If you don't have air conditioning, movie theaters, libraries, places that have air conditioning that you can go to, definitely recommend. And then when you're choosing your clothes in the morning, lightweight, light colored clothing, and of course, always make sure your pets, especially outdoor pets, have plenty of shade and extra water. We're talking about 90s all the way to the coastline by Friday. I'm gonna talk more about those bigger waves coming through, coming up in our next half hour. There's also a very slight chance for maybe a few showers and thunderstorms. The best chance that'll be this weekend is that humidity also builds, because it's not only going to be hot. It's going to be humid. Best chance is going to be in the mountains and deserts, but they will be moving westward, potentially into the valleys and the coast. 90s on Thursday inland, 100s Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday will be the hottest days of the week. 110 to 115 in our deserts then and in the 90s, even in our mountains. Guys?